Welcome back to my channel. I have two two bags of Lush. I went shopping on two separate occasions and I'm like, you know what? I need to do a video. I need to do a Lush haul. I haven't done a Lush haul on this channel in like two years. So we are overdue, but no longer. We are here, so let's get into it. Okay, I am so excited to do this haul because I have been holding off on using these products, all except one. I did start using one thing that I bought. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Taylor. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, and comment your favorite Lush product or a Lush product that you want me to try. I'll try anything, honestly, from Lush. I adore Lush, as you can tell. I have two bags, I went two separate shopping trips. We're not gonna talk about how much I spent, but we are gonna talk about these products and what I like about them. So first up, we're gonna go with this bag. There's only three items that I bought on this shopping trip. The first one being the item that I already used, which is the Outback Mate um, soap bar. It is the blue, it's like that luscious blue soap bar. It smells so good. It's very invigorating. It's fresh. It's tingly. It's minty. Eucalyptus, I believe, is in there, if I'm not mistaken. Eucalyptus is literally the first ingredient. It's amazing. If you have a cold, if you just want to feel refreshed, you want to feel clean, Outback Mate is my favorite of all time Lush soap bars. But with that being said, I've tried no other soap bars from Lush. So <laughs> that's going to change soon. But the other two things I bought in this shopping trip were two bubble bars. Now the first one is Mermaid's Tail. It smells really good. Honestly, I could not tell you the ingredients in this. I would just suggest go look it up on Lush's website, but it smells fresh. It smells a little citrusy. I'm getting like a lemony lime kind of scent, but it smells good. I love it. I think it's so cute. I love bubble bars. The next one I got is the Frozen. This one is definitely mint. I think it's spearmint. I could be wrong. Again, go to Lush, check out the ingredients for yourself, but it's very minty, very frozen vibes. But that's what it looks like. <gasps> okay, this is actually a new product at Lush that I'm very, very, very excited, very excited to try. It's the uh, Aroma and Bath Melts. So that's what it looks like. They are so cute, like... It literally says Lush Melt inside the actual product. A blend of chamomile and rich, I'm going to say Lang Lang or ya, ya Lang Lang. I don't know. I'm embarrassing myself. I don't even care. But I saw these and I was like, this is new. This is fun. This is exciting. I want it. So I bought it. Along with, I think I have another one here. I do. And this one is the Clear the Air. It smells so 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 good and this again is another uh, aroma and bath melt but this one is eucalyptus lemongrass and rosemary so very clean scent i can't wait to try it so one thing I'm, i really want to do on this channel is that when i do these hauls if it's like product hauls like lush or any type of makeup or anything if i shop at sephora i want to do product reviews and like do kind of like updates so when I do try both of these melts, I will let you guys know which one I like better. Um, the feel on my skin, how it you know, changes the color in the water. If it does that, I don't know. I'm assuming it does because it's lush. They're known for that. But I definitely want to do like updated little reviews. They'll be like super short videos, like maybe three, four minutes long, maybe even two minutes long if I hate it. I'll be like, don't buy this product, it's trash. I will straight up do that, okay? Because I don't want to just do these hauls and then you guys just don't know if it's even worth buying. Trust me, there will be an updated video soon on those products. Next one is, oh, <laughs> this, I had to buy it. I absolutely had to buy it. It's another bubble bar, but it's the Squidward bubble bar. Oh my gosh, I saw this and I'm like, even though Patrick is my favorite and I wish they had a Patrick bubble bar, but they don't and it's fine. They gave him a bath bomb. I don't really like using bath bombs anymore because it's just, I don't know, useless. Bath bombs don't really do anything other than change the color of your water. So like it's not like therapeutic in any kind of sense as far as I'm concerned. So there's that. Next up we have, okay, this product, when I saw it on the shelves, I was like, first of all, what is this? And it's the Tingle Naked 
body conditioner. This smells so good. And it's already melting in my fingers. Any type of body conditioner or body butter that's naked will melt. I will tell you that right now. It's already melting in my hands. You can already see like my little fingerprints there maybe. Ah, This smells so good and I cannot wait to try this as well. I've never tried any of their body butters or anything of the, like the body conditioners, but just right here, right now, it's not greasy. Like, don't mind my tan. <laughs> I've been wearing my Apple Watch every time I go hiking and now you can see like my original color to how dark I've gotten this summer. But back to the products. We also, well, I also got the Scrub Bee Body Butter. Now she is super cute. It's literally like a little bee. This is, I bought it because it looks like a little bee. That's stupid, but it's the reason I bought this because it looks cute. It smells like cocoa butter. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, when you rub it on your skin, once like this top layer kind of here melts, it does kind of exfoliate your skin. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Check the Lush website. I am no expert on Lush. I'm just an expert in shopping at Lush. As in, they can take my money any day of the week. Next up, we have soap bars. I bought four more soap bars because I love my Outback Mate, but I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's time to try something new. So I bought the figs and leaves. Let me let me quickly open these up. Ooh, hopefully I don't tear the packaging. All right, so this is the figs and leaves. Now, originally when I saw this, I was like, I don't know how big I am on fig, but this smells really good. It smells earthy, but it's not like a bad earthy. It's actually like a, it's a nice earthy scent. Like I would definitely shower in this. I would want to smell like this. After that, we have sea vegetable. But this smells very clean, very fresh. I actually want to use this tonight. Very calming. This might actually end up being my favorite one. Okay. We also have Bohemian. This smells a lot like the lemon zest. If you know Lush, they have a lemon zest soap bar. This smells honestly more lemony than the lemon zest. Definitely not giving Bohemian. Definitely giving kitchen soap. I thought Bohemian was gonna smell, you know, boho. Boho, soho, weho. Like, something oh well last of the soap bars i got karma now the only reason i got karma is because of the name i figured you know what karma for a soap bar name it's gotta be good okay it's giving lavender it's giving orange it's giving other things i can't pronounce oh gardenia it's giving gardenia i was say it's giving floral and citrus at the same time Honestly, I picked these up because of their name and how they looked. I didn't really smell or test anything. I'm just like, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. I'm actually not disappointed in this. It's not what I thought Karma would smell like. Because I don't know Karma's a bitch. I thought this would smell more seductive. But it's not, like, it's not bad. I keep sniffing it. Oh my gosh, it matches my hair. <gasps> Karma, I love you. <laughs> now, don't worry. We still have more stuff to look at. Next up, we got dirty spring wash shower gel so i have never tried any of the shower gels from lush but i picked this one up because it honestly reminded me the most of hold on it reminds me of outback mate but it's not outback mate this one has more of um a sweeter scent to it but it smells really good i only got it in the 100 mil because again i've never tried any lush shower gels and i didn't want to go like over the top so there's that and then last but not least I picked up this cutie right here now this I thought was very interesting it's also a new product from Lush but it says relax and have some fun and mold your own sleepy scented teddy bears and dream clouds to help you relax and sleep tight I read that and I was like what the hell is Lush selling play-doh I was shocked I was like are they really trying to sell us us grown folks play-doh and then I realized, no, they're not trying to do that. But I read the how to use, because again, I was curious. And it says, mold and make fun shapes. 
fun spell with a capital F. Don't know why that must be a typo. It says wash your body and hair by lathering up a small piece for a bubbly bath. Crumble a small portion under running water. I'm like, you are selling me generic soap. So no, I will not put this in my hair because it's not made for hair. I guess all soap could be used in hair, but like you're selling me soap putty. So you best believe I'm going to do a review on it because I want to know how well this holds up using it as a body soap and using it in the bath. I will not use this in my hair. I am a black girl. I'm not destroying any of my wigs or my natural hair for a lush review. But I will tell you guys how, how well it lathers and how it feels on the skin in the shower versus in a bath. So there's that. We have one more little thing here. My free sample. And my free sample this time actually... Wait a second, I didn't get a free sample with these folks. Wait, or did I? <gasps> they robbed me of a free sample. How dare they? But my free sample is the orange shower scrub. Now, I honestly wonder, what could this smell like? Oh my gosh, that is so vibrant and so cute. Bitch, it smells like oranges. I hope y'all know I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Of course, it smells like orange just does. Literally call it orange shower scrub. It doesn't smell like a like a fresh citrusy orange. It smells like a really sweet orange. I argue and say this might actually be tangerines or mandarins and not actually orange. But I guess they just said orange shower scrub as in it might be orange the color and not orange the fruit. Huh. Anyways, that is it for this haul. There's nothing else in these bags. I'm so excited that I finally got to film this because that means I can finally start using these. And I will not only use them, but I will give you guys reviews and update you guys on how well the products are. If you've tried any of these products, please comment down below which ones you've tried and how they worked for you. Because honestly, how else are we gonna know if this stuff is worth our money? Like, you can watch reviews like mine or someone else's, but it's you guys in the comments that when we build this little community of ours, you all are really helping us all figure out like don't buy this the aroma melts suck or whatever or, oh the body conditioners they're great but they don't last that long like whatever your experience was with your lush products comment it down below and let me know again which lush products i should try until next time i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to check out everything in the description box down below and hit the subscribe button i will see you guys later bye <laughs>